you're really going to like this. And if you don't, we, do, we like it enough for both of us. <laughs> so here you are. You were source energy. Part of you came into this body splat. Here you are. And you are exploring the variety. And you're knowing what you don't want, seeing plenty of it. Which causes you to know what you do want, seeing plenty of that too. So you're launching these rockets. And you knew what you didn't want, which caused you to launch a rocket. But this rocket of what you do want, it's not very vivid for you because it just burst out of this contrasting experience. And it's not your habit of thought. This is. Knowing what you don't want in this example is more your habit of thought. So this rocket came, but it's a freak. It was born out of the contrast. And as you launched it, we saw it coming. We wrote it immediately and became vibrationally part of it and held the frequency of it for you for when you catch up with it. Not just us, but all those like us. In other words, we're on that vibrational vortex. It's spinning. And immediately the cooperative components, because of law of attraction, began to come to it. And so the momentum got really going good. In fact, it got going so good that you couldn't stick with it. Not for very long. You launched it, but you haven't practiced it. So what are you left with? Oh, you gave birth to it, but you're not a vibrational match to it. So where does that leave you? It leaves you in emotional awareness of your separation from it. Well, big deal, Abraham. That's not too satisfying. So you're telling me I launched a desire and all I know now is that I'm not a match to the desire? Pretty much. But that's worth knowing everything because if you know you launched it, if you know it's yours, if you know source energy is focused upon it, if you know source energy is holding the signal of it, then even though you're not a vibrational match to it right now, that doesn't matter because you have plenty of time. It's not going anywhere. You now know that you've launched the rocket. And so now you say, all right, I'll focus upon the fact that it does exist even though it hasn't evidenced itself. I'll accept that it's in my vortex even though my point of attraction hasn't allowed me to realize it yet. I'll accept that I've done step one and that you're doing step two and I'll look forward to step three. I'll accept all of that. I'm feeling a little better about it just thinking about that. Feeling better, feeling better about not having the manifestation of it. In fact, maybe even feeling a little eager about it. So now you're talking in general enough terms that you are no longer a vibrational mismatch to it. You are in general terms matching it because you believe in law of attraction. You believe in your own worthiness. You believe in being human and launching the desire. And so now you somehow, some way, work yourself into vibrational alignment with it. In other words, you just stop doing the stuff that you've been doing that kept you from being there. You started focusing on laws and processes instead of evidence that was pointing out when you weren't doing it. You started focusing upon the laws and the processes that meant that maybe you could do it. And oh, all of a sudden, you click into place with it. You close the gap. You don't know really how you did it. You just monkeyed around with it until you managed it. But you came into alignment with it. And when you did, ah, you felt relief. You felt relief as you released the resistance. And now you are a perfect vibrational match to your desire. Your grid and your desire equal one another. And now it cannot be any other way. It must reveal itself to you in full manifested form. And it does. And you say yes for a minute. Because in the moment that it manifests, you not only have the confirming knowledge that you have managed to find alignment with it, but you now have, we love you so much, another set of contrasting experiences, which are launching another rocket of desire to which you are not a vibrational match. But now you know what to do. This time it's not going to take you so long. This time you're not struggling so hard. So what if it hasn't manifested? It's coming. I know that I'm good at this. I can align. All I have to do is clear my mind and not focus upon the absence of it. Stop beating the drum of what I don't want relative to this. Stop keeping active the opposite of what it is and start thinking a little bit more about the presence of what it is. Or change the subject altogether and look at other things that feel good to me. And now somehow, some way, you don't really know exactly how you did it because you did it sort of gradually and incrementally. Maybe 
someone else walked into your room, some teacher, somebody that's holding you as their object of attention, knowing that you can do something that you didn't know you can do, and suddenly you're in vibrational alignment with it. You don't really even know how you figured it out, but oh boy, did you feel the relief of it as you came into vibrational resonance with this new desire. And now you are your grid. You are in the perfect vibrational place of what's in your vortex. There's no vibrational separation between where you are and where it is, and it flows into your grid, and you feel the exhilaration of the relief of that and then it manifests and this time you say I did that I did that I did that I did that and you're so happy for about that long <laughs> and as it manifested now here you stand with it the manifestation of it evidence of your vibrational alignment and we love you so much another set of contrasting experiences that cause you to launch another rocket of desire so after a while you begin to recognize that you're not ever going to get it done and then it starts taking the sting out of what's not done because there's always going to be plenty that's not done and instead of feeling bad about what's not done you feel eager about what's becoming and then you start putting your attention upon what really matters which is how you feel and then you start looking for relief you start letting your cork float you start deliberately raising your vibration you start looking for reasons to feel good making lists of positive aspects going to the places that make you feel good giving yourself the right giving yourself permission to do more things that are fun and less things that are hard more things that feel good and fewer things that are assigned to you by others who are trying to get you to prove your worthiness and so you just keep finding yourself in alignment in alignment and then blessed with the manifestation of your desire and then alignment and then blessed with the manifestation of your desire until before you know it you don't ask the question how can I be there more of the time you just acknowledge hey I'm there mostly and oh every now and again I get this fantastic piece of negative emotion that lets me know that I have some big expansion that I'm ready to come into vibrational alignment with and then you begin managing your gap that's really what this life experience is about it's about how much endurance you've decided to assign to yourself I'm going to endure my discord longer and we say why and you say because it makes me popular among other humans <laughs> they seem to like my suffering and we say if we were standing in your physical shoes we'd suffer if we couldn't figure out how to do anything otherwise but we'd be figuring out pretty quick how to relieve ourselves of the suffering of our own negative attention toward things that are a vibrational mismatch to the whole that we have become you are the creators of your reality and you came forth into these magnificent bodies with clear intent and you knew that you would be exploring the contrast and you knew that the contrast would inspire you to new heights and you knew that that vortex would fill to the brim with all kinds of magnificent things and that law of attraction would bring a synergy to it and that the cooperative components would all be gathered and you intended full well to be very speedily along the way to be one of those cooperative components and you knew that you would have guidance within you that would let you know how much cooperation you are giving to this cooperative operative vortex you knew that your emotions would tell you where you are and it was your full intention to follow the thoughts that felt the best knowing that life would just keep causing and expanding you and that the fun of life causing and expanding you is to consciously keep up with that expansion to consciously keep up with your expansion that's what life is all about you see not one of you said I'll pay the price I'll go forth and suffer I'll turn the world around. I'll help point out the errors of their ways. I'll make the world a better place. Every one of you said, I'll go forth and I'll carve out my individual and powerfully important impression of what would be an improvement. And then I will punctuate it by aligning with my idea and allowing the evidence of it to actualize in my experience. That's what this expanding universe is all about. Here's the biggest piece that we want you to hear. We so want you to hear this stop beating up on yourself and make peace with negative emotion all of you we want so much for you to make peace with the glorious guidance system that you have within you make peace with negative emotion make peace with it make peace with it you could not know 
a level of pain if it were not for a level of desire. Jerry said that to Esther. She talks to him nearly every morning. She talks to him all day, but she was specifically talking, reaching for some relief from her discomfort right after he made his transition. And he said something so powerful to her. He said, you could not feel this level of despair if it were not for the powerful love that you feel for me. That's really something to think about, isn't it? If it were not for, if that love were not there, the pinching off of it wouldn't hurt. So that's why we want you to make peace with that feeling of the pinching off of it. Because the pinching off of it means that there's something that you could turn immediately toward if you just would accept that you're vibrational beings. We don't see you at your radio dial grimacing about the broadcast point of view of those stations that are out there you just tune your dial to something that is pleasing to you and that's all that deliberate creation is it's tuning your dial to something that is pleasing to you but you can't tune your dial to something that pleases you if you're beating up on yourself for it taking too long or if you're beating up on yourself for not having tuned it you say how can I hold myself always in alignment you can't how can I never feel negative emotion you can't you know, that's like saying, how can I get more answers? And you know what the answer to that is? Ask more questions. Ooh, didn't see that coming. <laughs> I like the answer part. I don't like the question part. And we say, that's what you signed on for when you decided to come into this contrasting environment. You knew that without exposure to life that would pose the question within you, there could not be that expanding answer. The basis of your life experience is freedom. You're so free you can choose bondage. Your objective is joy, alignment, alignment, joy, alignment, joy. And the result is expansion. But even if you don't accomplish your quest of joy, expansion still occurs. But joyous expansion was your intention. Joyous expansion, not just expansion. You said, I want the contrast but I want alignment and I want conscious awareness of expansion, conscious awareness. Because what fun it is to identify that you want something and know that you're nowhere near it vibrationally. And then to deliberately focus on things until you can feel yourself coming into alignment better and better and better and better and better. Isn't it a lovely thing when we say you are the creator of your own experience? The contrast was when you put it there Source answered it, it's you that allows the ideas to come, that allows the rendezvous to occur, that allows the details of the unfolding. When you watch the athletes, aren't they usually in their head getting ready to be ready? They know their bodies will do what they've trained their bodies to do, but that's not what makes the difference between the masters and the mediocre. It's the alignment, it's the tuning themselves to the frequency. And the nice thing is, in moments like this, where you actually do raise your vibration as you are doing, and you are finding vibrational alignment, then in the days that unfold following this, you'll have conscious awareness of the work that was actually accomplished. And of course, you don't need us for this. You can do it all day, every day. The easiest way to bring yourself into readily alignment is through meditation. Because when you quiet your mind, you stop thought. And when you stop thought, you stop resistant thought. And when you stop resistant thought, your vibration raises. And when your vibration raises, then you have access to what's in your vortex. So as it flows in, as you get this conscious awareness, as something flows in and the idea occurs to you, and the idea, even though the money isn't in the bank or even though you haven't met the person you're looking for, as the idea of something exhilarating occurred to you, then you acknowledge, I'm in alignment. I'm doing deliberate creation. And before long, that feeling of invincibility comes where you know for sure that you are worthy of whatever you're reaching for. And you trust law of attraction because it has never been anything less than consistent with you. So then you begin to recognize that somehow you have accomplished a sort of vibrational state of being. And if you're feeling sad, other things that match that jump on the wheel with you. And if you're feeling exhilarated, other things that match that jump on the wheel with you. And your whole world reflects what you've got going on. You can 
control your own vibrational manifestation into your actualization. And then it is our absolute knowing that you will begin living your life precisely as you intended when you came forth into this physical experience.